Welcome to Drafting 101 with Ryu Rakunchon. And today we will be learning about plan, section, and elevations. For this particular project, what we're going to do is actually investigate Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And the scale will be a one foot to one foot scale, which means that it is full scale, meaning that whatever we see here in this Reese's Peanut Butter Cup will be drawing as is. So let's start with the plan view. Plan view, you're literally looking at it. It's you looking down at something. So let's find the measurement for this guy. Let's write down plan because plan view, because this is the plan view, which literally is looking down at the piece. It is circular, so I would suggest using a protractor. Please don't use a bottle cap or some sort of other circular things you found in your household because that is not accurate. <clears throat> so draw the circle. And I've measured that this circle is one inch and three quarters, one and three quarters of an inch which means that the protractor itself should probably be at a 7 eighths of an inch from center to create the diameter of one and three quarter inches. Now, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups have all these ridges on the sides, which we won't go into how to draft that precisely just yet for this video. So I'm going to draw in the fact that there are all these ridges around the perimeter which is about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, we're not going to get into that just yet because that is too much information. Next, we will then look into what is an elevation for a peanut butter cup. So an elevation essentially is the plan view lifted up. See that plan lifted up is an elevation plan up, which in this case is also the side view of a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and it is about a quarter of an inch. So we're going to say that it's about a quarter of an inch, and as you can see it tapers, so I'm going to also measure the bottom part, which is 7 eighths of an inch, and in order to draft that, I am going to just do a little ghost line that will make sure that my plan and my elevations are all lining up. And again, we remember that it's a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna draw that line as a guide and then go ahead and draw the one three quarter inch line up above. Made a little mistake, erase it off, it's fine. And at the bottom is the seven eighth of an inch bottom that we have for the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And draw that in and connect the dots on the sides. The other way you can do this also is find the angle of how it tapers from the top to the bottom. And like I said, it's about 16th of an inch, so measure all of that ridges from the top and the bottom so we know exactly where things are dot 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 so these dots are really as guides right so that we can connect the dots in a bit and now you can just connect the dots so that we know exactly that on the elevation these things do have all these ridges now the fun part. The next part is to figure out what is the section view of this Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So a section view is a way for us to find more information about the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, but also a section view is also a way for us to communicate if there are certain ways we want to build this piece, if this Reese's Peanut Butter Cup was a scenery. So we've cut that in half, and you can see that there is like ooey gooey stuff in the middle, which is the peanut butter covered in chocolate. It is very similar to an elevation, right, in the exterior part of how the dimension and the exterior 
is exactly just like the elevation, but it does not. That's the elevation. You see that? That's the elevation. And inside here, because we've cut through it, is the section. So now we have to draw the section. So the same idea as an elevation, I'm just going to draw a few guidelines that you can't really see. And again, measure, measure, measure. Great, now that we're here, we can see that the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup has a casing of chocolate, right? And I've me somewhat measured it to know that that surrounding area is about a sixteenth of an inch. So again, here, measure out, just do a little tick of sixteenth of an inch, just enough as guides for yourself. Right, so the sixteenth of an inch is the chocolate part that is covering the peanut butter. And now you play connect the dots. Ba boom, boom. See, now you have the chocolate casing, which is 16 of an inch. Next, whenever you cut through something, especially in this section, in order to tell folks that we are cutting through a piece of scenery, it is because it is solid, right? We're cutting through a piece of something solid. The way to do that is to do these things called hatches, hatching, hatching, in the drafting lets the readers know that this piece is a solid piece. In this case, the chocolate and the peanut butter are both solid pieces. There's no hollow pieces between them and there are two hatches next to each other. So what I've done to make sure that it's clear is that the exterior hatch for me, I chose this myself, that it will be much more dense while the interior hatching is less dense. And there you go. That's the section. Great, and this all looks good, except for one thing. Just because we told people this is a one inch scale and a full scale doesn't mean that people actually read. So we should probably put in some dimensions. And in the dimensions, you should always give the overall dimension of what the size of the piece you're drafting is. So in here, I am going from edge to edge yeah, creating a little leading line of where that edge is. And this piece is one and three quarter inches. And I do a little tick on the edges to show that this written dimension ends at that very tick on this plane. We also want to do the vertical measurement of it as well and then the vertical because it is a circle the diameter is one and three quarter inch therefore the width and the height here is one and three quarters you can either do a tick or arrows that's entirely up to you that's the, that's up to you the style you like I personally love ticks more than arrows uh, so whatever you choose make sure it's consistent right for example in the elevation it's also here one three quarter inch i would do a tick and it's a quarter inch tall tick tick that's not done because we do have the the lower measurements over here which is one and three eighths inches in the actual video i made a little mistake so i am just slapping that on it will be fine because you won't make the same mistake. And now moving on to the section, it looks very similar to the elevation. The exterior measurements are the same. It is one inch and three quarters, one and three quarter inches wide and quarter inch tall. But in the section, we have the information that the chocolate shells right there is one and sixteen inch TYP as in typical because it's entirely one and sixteenth of an inch covering the entire thing. And in the center, the gooey gooey peanut butter center is three and sixteenth of an inch. Now because there's no space for me to write that in, I decided to do a little line, a little arrow pointing to what that dimension is, which works as well. So the last thing is that the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup is a circle, 
right? So we should indicate what the radius of a circle is from its center point. This way we show where exactly the center point is of that circle so people know where to start from or measure from to create that circle. And because it is one and three quarter inch, the radius is half of that, which is seven eighths of an inch. And once you're done, enjoy your Reese's Pieces.